Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And as inane as it seems, I'm going to be doing a part two on my copper canvas. Yesterday, before it was dry, I gave it a good long coating with my OXO omelette turning spatula, best paint, paint spreading tool around. You can see there's a few lines of demarcation, and you can see that some of the paint has repelled from the edges. And this might very well be, you know, something I'm going to paint three times, but when I looked at it this morning, a lot of it was really so well covered and so beautiful in the light. I don't know if that's flashing for you like it did for me, but in any case, um, I think I'm going to start I shook my paint. It has Decor Pouring Medium, Floetrol, and GAC 800 in it in the same configuration as in the recipe below my, below my video. Underneath Show More, underneath the Teespring, underneath the Amazon link where you can buy the spatula. Um, and I'm just going to just, I mean this is a really small canvas so I've been thinking about whether I wanted to just find a large acetate sheet. The plastic sheets come from the 16 by 20 inch canvases from Michael's. 16 by 20 inch value pack from Artist Loft. So if I have a couple of those cut, I might be very tempted to go ahead and make an experiment on one end of this to see how smoothly it covers. But right at the moment, I just want to attempt to cover my edges and my finger is going to be the best tool that I have to do that as well as filling in those little folded corners. And uh, no, I said I was going to do something and that's what I'm going to do. All right, so here's one of my edge catchers, swipe cloths, uh, swipe, swipe cards, whatever you want to call it. And I really just want to try this before the bugs find me. And uh, If I have too much paint on there already, it might be an issue. And I did show you my OXO omelette turning spatula, which is what I really intended on using. But I want to see how this works, even with paint on it. Because if it makes, if it leaves less lines behind, it might be what I'm going to use. I don't necessarily recommend that you try, but if you want to, it might be worth an investment of time or effort. And I need the glasses, yes! That does look like it's a fairly nice layer. I do still see a little bit of canvas peeking through on my edges, but that's kind of par for the course because the metallics are always kind of sheer. <clears throat> Let's do the other side with the OXO omelette turning spatula and see if, because there's a nice layer to begin with, that that, is, that was the reason that uh, things went on so nicely for with the acetate sheet. I'm gonna just keep moving beads of the paint with the spatula until I see that I don't have any dry canvas left. It's nice there's no breeze out here right now because I keep finding all kinds of seed little pieces of organic matter and seeds in my stuff. I've been working on a gold three foot by three foot primed canvas for days and uh, Half of my work, the end of it, is uh, finding all of the little anomalous things that are in it. Well, I don't know. I don't seem to mind the spatula marks that much. I kind of like it better, in fact. It doesn't seem like it covered as well over here. Or it could be already drying. I guess that's a possibility, too. But in the meantime, I think I get better coverage with the spatula than I did with the acetate. And because it's got GAC 800 in it to keep it from cracking, which is also a really good pouring medium if you can afford the um, discounted rate of $70 a gallon, go for that. <laughs> I, use, I use 10 or 20% in, and then the rest of mine is deco art pouring medium that I buy and sale, and uh, Floetrol. Because Floetrol is only 15 bucks a gallon in general in the United States from Lowe's or Home Depot. So that's my go-to. Now I'm not gonna worry about bubbles in this, cross your fingers, knock on wood sort of thing, because I'm using the spatula. And yeah, I'm being obsessive again. But I also am testing out whether I can record on the memory card that I've got in my camera, because it virtually destroyed two, two of the videos out of, of a three-part video series that I did on a really nice painting yesterday. And I need to know 
which memory card I'm going to buy and how quick I better be about it before I'm not able to make any more videos. Um, I had some, some severe static and I had some pixelization in a big way. I mean, it just obliterated the picture. So, I'll tell you guys, if you want to help me out, watch as much of my videos as you can. There's always uh, 500 plus videos on the end screens if you're interested in watching more of what I do. And this is not a typical, this is not typically what I do. I don't just do technical advice <laughs> very often, actually. Not too generous with that. Sorry. I'll do better in the future, I hope. But um, in the meantime, my the Teespring has the studio slogan, because I can, of course. Because I can, of course. Anyway, um, what else? I sell my artwork. You guys know that. I'm going to check my edges one more time and call it good. Just going to tap. Ooh, yeah, I got some dripping. Going to tap up with my spatula. Not bad, though. Really. Really, you can see my edges are pretty well covered. Might want to run my spatula along the bottom edge. Just so the usual paint receding up doesn't become an issue. I've got some issue right there with naked canvas. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how that's covering. So I'm going to tell you guys I love you. There's over 57,000. You're on, 50, on the way to 58,000 of you subscribers. And I love your comments. I hope you keep making them. And I hope you come back again soon. Uh, this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. At Expression of Start Studio going, as long as the paint is still kind of wet, maybe I can get some of that bead of paint right there to blend in so that it covers that edge. A risk worth taking. Hope I have a light touch. <laughs> it's what's required. All right, you guys take care. Um, I'm going to just work on the spots that aren't as covered if, if it's really bad tomorrow and, uh, and look for anything I need to, ma to fix. But um, generally, I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Look for the end screens. You can find my website there.